So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason iMessage is signed out on your particular iPhone. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The number one reason why something like this may end up happening is because one, your iMessage account just is signed out within settings. So what you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application, just like so, and you want to go and scroll down until you see messages. So scroll down until you see messages right here. All you're going to want to do is tap into messages, and then this next panel is going to come up. Now, there might be a little panel here that may say something like, you know, iMessage, whatever. All you want to do is make sure this toggle is turned on. So all you're going to want to do is make sure this particular toggle right here is turned on. And as long as you do that, you're pretty much going to be good to go. That is usually going to be the number one problem that you're going to run into. So just go ahead and enable that. And that's the first thing I would recommend doing. On top of that, make sure that your particular iCloud account up here is signed in. So sometimes you may have to just click onto it and then just basically just, you know, click into it. You may have to sign in. So just go and do that. That's another thing you may want to try doing as well. Now that doesn't end up working. Another thing you can try doing is making sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or internet. So just check your Wi-Fi and internet connection settings. That's another thing you can try doing too. On top of that, you may just want to go and try updating your particular iPhone. So make your way back into your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down until you see your general settings right up here. Then what you're going to want to do here is you basically want to scroll over until you see software update. So go and tap into software update right up here. And what you're going to want to do is literally just update your iPhone. So if there does happen to be an update available, just go ahead and just update your phone. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. And that might very well end up fixing the problem for you as well. So those are a few different ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.